Hello, Aquarius. Happy birthday. I know we're about to bring a Pisces season too, but you know, you guys get what you get. So, King of Pentacles just fell out. It's the general. Ah, oh, the devil. And the Six of Cups. Okay. Are you thinking about an earth sign? <laughs> or... Are you thinking about the material aspect of something and you've lost what your dream was to do with that? I mean, there's so many scenarios here. So, you know, the King of Pentacles is all about being humble. Very humble, very successful, but it feels like the devil is in between of whatever you started out after has now turned this into a obsessive behavior of maybe forgetting why you started right now it's like a control tactic maybe you're working too much you know you're working too much and you can't see the forest through the trees right <clears throat> so you're forgetting to actually enjoy your life or the simple pleasures that you once had before because this has gotten in the way this obsessive nature or needing to be around someone um goodness like needing to know their every move it's not healthy and that's also not a connection nope once you start doing that the connection's kind of south it's kind of went south but the fact that i have so much here with earth attached to it so you know i would first guess be capricorn next would be taurus and virgo but this is about being bonded to the material aspects it's too it's too tempting which is bringing out your shadow side right and that is a self-destructive tendency and i would even call it sobriety sobriety and need to be self-aware because where are you in this dynamic right what have you consciously bound yourself to because it feels like person or money sorry folks the law had to talk to me <laughs> that's what happens when you do tnr work you make a lot of people angry because you're out here doing good but they're on my side right at this moment that being said, okay, you're only feeding your primal self. Whatever this mm, dynamic is, whether it's a person or a job, whatever you want to put that as, whether you're retired, you, you put the shoe where it fits because it's mainly a feeling and I have to put it into a dynamic, right? You have to understand what your potential motives are, okay? How is this playing out in your life? Are you making that choice to kind of be powerless in a face of a addictive uh, setting, right? Because you're allowing that from, and I know certain aspects are hard to get out of. You feel pulled like you can't, you can't do nothing about it. Get it, understand it. But we always have a choice, right? We, we always have a choice to make, to start doing things differently. Mm. Aquarius. Oh my god. Yeah, sorry folks. Like, I've been battling being sick and stuff, and I just don't feel comfortable being on camera right now, but you understand. So, these cards is all about money, and Capricorn came out again. So, I have 888 and Capricorn. Because there is nothing but a financial focus. So, it could be you're tied to both. <laughs> right? It's all this path. Like, I got to take this path. I got to take this path no matter what. And you, you're you struggling against whatever this path that you feel dead set on taking is. Right? Oh. And it's like you need to have a little bit of fun. Or it's all for not. So, you're just too attached to the past of maybe, you know, where you lost a job and you didn't have enough money. But can I ask, are you saving? Or is your savings going out if you're retired? You know what I mean? Are you new to the game? But it's almost romanticizing a uh, better time financially. I get it. The economy sucks. Right? Or how you guys, if, if this dynamic, how you guys used to have fun and stuff. And now it's turned to this. And, and we're too dependent on each other. And this is just our state of being now. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> You need a new experience, a subtle distinction, right? 
it's a distinction between being childlike and childish and that negativity is where I'm standing on this you someone doesn't want to grow up and take responsibility for their own life and it's the comfort of allowing something to take hold of you and take charge of you I don't know who's crying someone's crying that is the problem um, and I'm trying to give you the light. It's it, really the light is you, you need the balance, right? This overly excessive thing, this, this attachment. Yeah, because it is throwing everything out of balance and it's actually, uh, it's sacrificing your stability. It's sacrificing your happiness or or this connection, you know, this friendship. It's over overly asserting your physical being of needing to be attached to know everything that's going to happen and therefore losing the vitality. Okay, you have until like March 5th through the 8th to get a hold on this. To write, to, to commit and then move on. Commit, move on. Commit, move on. Don't overextend on just one area because you're missing, you're missing a lot about life, I guess. And, and life is short, folks. You don't want to do that. You want to release your need to struggle. You want to see, you want to learn, you want to have fun. You don't want to attach yourself to something where you're stuck in it. You just don't. You want to remain free and open. And that's kind of the lesson. And that's where you're headed. And I keep seeing out of the hole and going up. Right? Maybe you've just been around someone who's kind of taken that energy and you can't see clearly. But from that time of you understanding and getting realistic up until like late July is a, is a really good time to expand, to have fun, to see your friends, see your family, even travel. It's just overly focused on this one area is kind of stopping all that, right? So this is me bringing that awareness to you. So I hope this connects to you and I hope you subscribe and I will catch you later and happy birthday.